So I had to put a new radiator in the beast here. Looks good. Went to put on the coolant pipe and the bolt got stripped out. But I've already helicoiled the, I think both sides. Yeah, both sides. I helicoiled those previously, but the bolt itself stripped. And so I'm just gonna take this whole part out and do it again. But I'll show you the process outside of the vehicle. You can't do it in, it's just tight. They want like $250 for this housing. So I'm obviously not gonna buy one part for half the cost of the entire car. So I'll just helicoil it again and hopefully it won't strip out this time. Okay, so I got the piece off. It's already been helicoiled, like I was saying. So those have already been done. However, I'm not super stoked on how that turned out, so I'm gonna redo them. Plus the bolt that goes into it. This side had some threads that were kind of messed up, so I cut the messed up threads off already, and then I'll clean up the remaining ones, but let's get these out, and we're gonna just do this over again so that we don't have to worry about it. Let's see if this little vise will stick to this piece of plastic here. Hey, what do you know? So this is uh, not a super fancy vise, I understand that. It's just to hold our part so we can drill it a bit easier. Just so it's somewhat straight so that we can see how to go about this. So I'll use the kit here. You've got your drill for cleaning up threads, a tap to cut a little bit oversized threads for the coil. Then you have your installer tool. And then you have your tang breaker, which is how you snap off the little tab that you use to install it. I'll show you all that stuff. So this has a slot on it and your inserts look kind of like that. You really want to make sure that you measure your bolts beforehand. This is one of those things that you don't want to have to do twice. Just make sure that your threads are going to match right up with the bolt that you plan on using. Because these kits, this is a M6 by 10 If I had anything other than that, it wouldn't work, obviously. Okay, so I'm gonna take this tool and I'm gonna reach in. And so what I'm trying to achieve is getting the tab, the slot into the tool so I can get it out. And I didn't break the tabs off of these when I put them in before, which may have been the reason why it failed on me. We'll see. See if this thing even wants to come out. It might not. Nope. Okay, so this is gonna be a bit more difficult than we had hoped. That's okay. Don't get stuck in there. Yikes. I'm gonna try putting it in this way and see if that doesn't help out. Actually, I'm gonna put it in this way. Wasn't doing a great job of clamping before. Okay, so that didn't work. Let me try the other one. That didn't work either. So the tab broke off now, and they do advertise that these threads are stronger than the originals, which is a good thing, unless you're trying to get it out. If you just get a piece of it, you can typically twist the whole thing out or try to just pull it. That one doesn't really want to pull, but let's try it. And there you go. So I'm gonna do the same thing for this one. I'm just going to pull up, make get a little piece exposed and try to twist it out. But the other one didn't want to do that, but we might be getting lucky on this one. Yeah. So now we're gonna use the drill bit just to clean it up. Now I don't have to oversize these really at all because I've already drilled them out before, but I'll just run it down in there to clean it up a little bit. That one's perfect. You might want to have a vise and drill press when you do that step, but I think as long as you're careful, you're going to be okay. That's just to widen up the hole a little bit more so you can use your cutter. As long as the cutter doesn't fall down in there, you're going to be fine. So we need to get this installed onto a cutter handle. I don't really know what the name of those are. Tighten it up real good so it doesn't fall out of there. There you go. Now I don't do this every single day, so my technique might be a little bit sloppy, but all you're basically trying to achieve is you're cutting grooves for the new thread, just so they have something to hang on to. They're going to expand a little bit and tighten up into the bore. So you don't have to be super aggressive. Like I'm saying, with this one, I'm just gonna clean the cuts up till they start coming out the bottom. I'll call that good. Doesn't bind, goes down nice and smooth. Now you can use some oil for this if you want. Sometimes it helps and then you're not left with a bunch of debris down into the hole. Let's try this one. This one I can't go all the way down in, 
so I do have to be a little careful because the back side of this bolt is part of the coolant passage so I really don't want to punch through that because then you'll have to figure <laughs> you'll either have to get a new part or try to seal up a bolt to be watertight which I don't want to do so I'm just gonna give it a little bit of tension till I feel it kind of start to bottom out and that's about all there you go took a little bit off not a lot but a little bit again it's okay if they're a little bit ugly because the inserts will actually take care of that. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the insert, then grab some Loctite. We're gonna lock these threads down so that they don't spin out. Now you can see these tools get a little bit beat up when you use them. So you gotta kinda be careful with them. Speaking of the tool, there is a Allen key on the side of it. So if you only want it to be at a certain depth, that's what that is for. I'm going to be eyeballing this. So I put the insert on the tool until it slots on there. Then I'm gonna put just a dab of Loctite on it. That's a bit excessive, but it'll work. I'm gonna get it started. Go slow. We're trying to match up those threads that we just cut. Loctite does help it spin. I'm gonna run this one down just a bit under the opening. I think that'll work. And do the same thing for the other side. Put the insert onto the tool. Little glob of Loctite. Get it lined up. I'm gonna run this one all the way to the bottom, as far as I can anyway, because I don't want the threads of the bolt to hit the tab at the end and end up warping it. There you go. Like I said, sometimes these get boogered up, and this thing's brand new, and it's already got a bunch of scratches on it. So go easy with it. You can maybe see that the threads here are pretty close to the top, and then those, they start further down. Just so that the threads of the new bolt doesn't go bashing into it. And I always suggest to test your fit. That looks pretty good. I'm not gonna go tightening this thing yet. I want that Loctite to set. I'm just gonna test fit the threads. I posted a short about this, and a lot of people said either just use a nut and a bolt. Well, you can't do that on that one because it's in the water jacket. Plus, this bolt is a little bit different than most. It's got threads on both sides, so you lock the thermostat housing down like that, and then you put the AC line on top of it. So I really don't want to deal with getting a new bolt and having to figure all that out. So I'm going to just clean up these threads a little bit just to get any of the boogers off of it that it might have. You don't want any boogery bolts. So it's a good thing I'm doing this because that bolt is a lot more boogered than I gave it credit for. I thought like, oh, it's not that bad. Turns out I was wrong. So if I hadn't cleaned this up, those boogered up threads would definitely have caught in the new helicoils or helicoils and either deformed them or started to pull them out. You really don't want that to happen. That is perfect. Going pretty much all the way down. This is not gonna be the bolt for that one, but it is the same thread pitch. Oh, look at there, beauty. Now I think this one is set up pretty good now. I'm gonna go ahead and knock off the little tab. That center piece that you install onto the tool, you've got to knock that off. So that's what this is for. If I set that in there, you'll see that it doesn't go all the way through. Let me try to get you a better shot. There you go. Hopefully you can see that. A little tab sticking out. I need to get rid of it. You take this, set it in there, and you hit it with your favorite hammer. And there's the little tab. If we look down in there, it is now gone. You don't want to forget that step, because if you do, well, you can kind of tell what's going to happen, but your bolt is going to thread onto the new coil, and then it will hit that tab. And as you keep threading it, it'll try to expand the threads on there. And you really don't want that to happen, because that'll either mess up your bolt or mess up your new threads you just cut and spent all this fun time on. And there you go. Got some pretty decent threads cut in there. I'm happy with it. Like I said, I can't knock the tab off that one. I probably can't even show it to you. But it's down there flush with the bottom of the bore, so I think we're gonna be okay. All right, so I'm gonna let the Loctite cure probably overnight. I don't wanna rush anything and pull those out, so I'm gonna give it a lot of time. Shadows like crazy going on. Sorry. When you get done with your kit, put it all back together. It's not fun to chase down these parts. This drill bit is specifically sized for this kit. This cutter is specifically sized, set up for the helicoil kit. This is an M6 by 10 Got it on Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description if you wanna pick one up. They're a little bit pricey, but just to give you some context, that part right there, new, is like $250, $300. And you're gonna spend 20 or so, maybe 30, depending on the kit. I think it's worth it. It's a no-brainer if you ask me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have comments on this kit, or how to use it, how to set it up, 
or if you had issues installing it, let me know down in the comment section. I'll do my best to help you out. If you enjoyed it, please give me a like and subscribe. I do appreciate it. Leave your comments down below. I really appreciate those. I'm learning a whole lot just off of the community here that decides to give me some feedback. Good or bad, let me know so that the information comes across better for everybody so that I help more people out. And that's what I'm here for. Anyway, thanks for watching.